all of us, we should adhere to the word of God. But in order for us to do that, we must be open to fully receiving the word of God. That is, we must be willing to listen to the word of God. And then we must be willing to be obedient to the word of God, moving according to his every word. When we do that, all of those trials, those tribulations, those afflictions, the storms of life, they will be nothing to us. We'll be able to withstand the strongest storms of life. By the word of God, we will overcome all of those obstacles, all of our trials and all of our tribulations, and we will receive the blessing of God. lesson this week opens with Jesus saying to the disciples, he who has ears to hear, let him hear. The disciples will see, then ask Jesus, why do you speak to them in parables? You see, in the opening of this chapter, Jesus, he had taught the parable of the sword to all of those who had gathered before him. In a very familiar passage of scripture that I preached from not too long ago, we'll see that Jesus, he explained how the kingdom of heaven was like a sower that sowed seed in his field. The field was mostly in poor condition for anything to grow in, except for one part of the field that had good fertile ground that was able to produce a crop. Now, of course, we should know that parables, they use earthly illustrations to explain a spiritual message. For that reason, a lot of people, they believe that parables that they are easily understood, but that's actually not the case. Parables, they are actually very deep. And at first glance, they can also be very confusing. For anyone that would say otherwise, well, just take a look at the disciples. After a lot of the parables that Jesus taught, the disciples, they would come to him and they would ask him questions, trying to gain more understanding, seeking to clearly understand the message, the spiritual message that Jesus was trying to share with them. Just as we see here in the 10th verse where they were curious as to why Jesus would teach to the people in parables. Jesus' answer is actually very interesting. As he says to the disciples, because it has been given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them, it has not been given. So is Jesus saying that it was only meant for the 12 to understand the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven? No, not necessarily. We will see Jesus say for whoever has, to him more will be given, and he will have abundance. But whoever does not have, even that what he has will be taken away from him. Some of us will look at this verse, we'll look at it kind of strangely, because we'll be lost on what exactly Jesus is saying. So what is he saying in this verse? Those that have speaks about those that have spiritual knowledge, or better yet, those that crave, those that desire to learn more about the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. If you are really interested in the word of God, then you'll go to seek more. You will want to learn more. You'll want more knowledge. You'll want more wisdom. You'll want more understanding of the word of God so that you can improve in life, so that you can get better, so that you can grow, so that you can mature spiritually. The word of God, it interests you. So you desire to dive deeper into the word of God. But if you are uninterested in the word of God, then you're going to dismiss it. You're going to neglect the word of God. You're going to put it away from you. And those who neglect the word of God, they, of course, they're not going to live by the word of God. And if they don't live by the word of God, then they're never going to receive the blessing of God. In fact, we learned again from the parable of the rich man and the beggar named Lazarus that the outcome of those that choose to neglect the word of God, it's not a good outcome. So on that thought, Jesus tells us in the 13th verse why he taught in parables. He explained because seeing they do not see and hearing they do not hear, nor do they understand. Now, what does he mean by this? Well, there are many people today that would say to you that if they were there, 
to be able to see Jesus with their own eyes, if they were there to touch on Jesus with their own hands, if they could have listened to the sound of his voice with their own ears, then they would believe. But the fact of the matter is that scripture shows us that there were people that were literally there who could physically see Jesus, who could physically touch Jesus, who could physically talk to him and listen to his every word that chose to ignore him, that chose to dismiss his every word. And so Jesus, he taught in parables for this one specific reason, so that those who desired, who truly desired to know more, could come to him and could ask questions just like the disciples did. And those who didn't care, well, they wouldn't go to him. They wouldn't seek to, to learn more, to gain more knowledge, to gain more wisdom, and to gain more understanding. We find again today that the same thing happens. Again, if you want to know the word of God, it's available for you to know the word of God. There were people that lived back then that could have sought Jesus out just as the disciples did, but they refused to do so. They refused to go to him to gain more wisdom, to gain more knowledge, and to gain more understanding. During Jesus' day, the problem is, as he explained next, or as he quoted from the prophet Isaiah, saying that Isaiah prophesied that the people, they would see Christ, but still not believe. Isaiah prophesied and spoke about how the heart of the people had grown dull. Their ears were hard of hearing, and their eyes, they had been closed. This is a major problem that we face in our world today. And that problem being that hearts have gone dull. Hearts, in other words, are uninterested when it comes to the Lord, when it comes to his word, when it comes to his only begotten son. As I preached a couple of weeks ago, hearts are now more apathetic than they are being sympathetic with all of those that are around them. Hearts, people today just don't care. And that is a major problem when people don't care about their soul, when people don't care about their spirit. More people today live to satisfy their flesh than they do to satisfy their own soul. And that's simply not good for anybody. That is the reason why so many people are in poor health, spiritually speaking. However, as the Lord said through Isaiah, if one was to simply turn to him, if they were to open themselves up spiritually, they would not only recognize him and his works, but his works, they would heal them in their soul. As you have heard me say before, it is time for all of us to open our hearts up to the Lord, to receiving his every word. We must stop dismissing the word of God. It does absolutely no good for us. We must stop dismissing his word. We must stop dismissing his works that God is still doing to this day. Look at the world today in dismissing the Lord. What good has it done for the world? Our world, quite frankly, it is in a spiritual mess because we again dismiss the Lord, we dismiss his works, and then we dismiss his word, and therefore again, we don't live by his word. And because we don't live by his word, we are in a spiritual mess today in our world. Our lesson concludes with Jesus saying to the disciples, blessed are your eyes for they see in your ears, for they hear. For assuredly, I say to you that many prophets and righteous men desire to see what you see and did not see it, and to hear what you hear and did not hear it. Yes, the disciples, they were truly blessed because they were able to literally see Jesus. They were able to literally touch him. They were able to literally hear his voice as well. They were able to walk with him, physically speaking. They were truly blessed. But I say to all of you today, even though we can't physically walk with Jesus, even though we can't physically see him, even though we can't physically hear his voice, we still are able to hear his voice today. Because we have received the word of God, because we have chosen to live by the word of God, we have received the Holy Spirit from the Lord. And by our receiving of the Holy Spirit and by the Holy Spirit dwelling within us, we have spiritual discernment to where the Holy Spirit guides us on our journey, to where when we open up the word of God, we are able to understand the word of God as well. And that truly is a blessing. When we are able to live by the word of God, we also know that we receive God's great reward. We receive the joy of salvation, which as I preached last week, 
that is our heavenly home, which scripture shows to us as well. So again, my encouragement for all of you today is this, live by the word of God. In order for you to do that, you must be open to receiving the word of God. So be open to receiving the word of God so that you can live by the word of God so that you can receive his great rewards. That is my encouragement for all of you that are watching this video today. Again, be open to receiving the word of God and then live by the word of God. And when you do this, you will be greatly blessed by the Lord.